Or the landlord tenant laws or I mean the squatter laws are even worse in Ohio. Okay. So I'll go up to Lyme Municipal Court well, what I'm saying immediately. Is he's going to destroy my house if he stays in here. Okay, I, but we can't force him out. Well then I'll okay. So we'll leave it like that then, okay. So I'll go up to the civil courts, get uh, the ball rolling. Have a key or anything either. I understand. Okay. It's just a strict law. No, I not, I, we can, we would be we, we'd be breaking the law if we said, hey, man, you got to go. And just... So there's a way to do it. You just got to go up to the civil courts, like municipal court, second floor. Okay, I'll go up there immediately. You might be able to get emergency eviction. They can explain all that stuff to him. But it's going to so be the a... only way to get him out is press charges. No, to evict him. Emergency eviction. Is there other family members anywhere he can stay? Hold on. What they what? What will my wife come here for? Say you can have her here in five minutes. Yeah, for you. They said she's supposed to come here for you. Um, can you, are you able to go somewhere? Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon is not with physical products. It's Amazon's other company. Okay. Are you able to go somewhere? To his house? Huh? I don't got no space can in, you in the house, bro. You, you, why don't you go back over and talk to him? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. You want to show me what he's been doing inside? Um, the house is yeah, coming up for sale. This same interaction is shown from other angles as Brown talks about his wife and tells officers he's been at the house for almost a month. To come home, to do whatever. What would she come here for, bro? This is where I've been for the last past, like, what, six days, 12 days, <laughs> a whole month almost. Where does your wife live at? In Texas. Yeah. Let's go in there. Right? In Texas. After that, Brown is taken into custody. No problem. Get out of here. Uh, we're going to go oh, down back. Okay, cool. Yep. No problem. Can I talk to him real quick? No, we... We gotta go, okay? I have thanks not for protecting you. Alright. Yeah, thanks for protecting me. I appreciate you being here. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Appreciate it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and slide right there. Alright, thank you. And we'll get you up there, okay? Okay. While being transported to the Allen County Jail, Brown can be heard speaking to Officer Mark Link. Oh, I'm doing okay, man. You? Oh, I'm straight. Y'all saved my life. <coughs> y'all got what y'all need. Get me up out of here. That man been f***ing on my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's cool, man. You know, it, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. All right, 44. Like, y'all made a collective decision to, just, to get me away from him. county had nothing to do with, with me at the time. It was what y'all had to do, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's what he had said to us, that the other officers determined that it's domestic okay, violence. What did I say? Um, apparently, he said, he told the other officers that you come at him with the hammer and with the knife. That I came at him with a hammer and a knife? Yes. Oh, under okay. And under Ohio law, that constitutes, since you guys are brothers that constitutes domestic violence yeah but he's brothers by word not by blood i i you told me that you were brothers yeah i mean this is his city i wouldn't come out here for nobody else if i didn't be my brother link explains what's next for brown so what's going to happen is you'll go to the county jail for domestic violence threats okay and he will have the opportunity to go tomorrow to file charges against you. 
If he doesn't go, you'll be released tomorrow about 10 a.m. If he does file charges against you, um, you'll have a hearing tomorrow at 2 o'clock, a bond hearing with the judge. Okay? Okay. So it all depends on if he wants to file charges or not. Oh, well, I hope you file charges. <laughs> Body camera video also captures Sanders telling first responders he didn't want to press charges, but just wants Brown to get help. Uh, so he does have history of mental illness? Uh, from my knowledge, yes. I mean, on Dr. Phil, I guess he said they put him in creative care and zero pool and all that. Shit. Okay. Uh, past violent behavior? Yes. Okay. Does he abuse the drugs or alcohol? Um, he had a previous addiction that he overcame, so I don't know. Okay. All right. That's all I need for now. Like I said, tomorrow we'll have to file the charges. <laughs> and like I was trying to say earlier, just because filing charges doesn't mean you're putting him in jail, mm -hmm. but it can also give him court-mandated treatment. And in the end, that's what we, we want him to be a better person.